Happy Mindful Monday. This is Tracy Noriega paying it forward to you here. And um, it was just so nice this morning. I usually go on bike rides. I have to get up really early here in Arizona before it gets scalding hot. But it is really nice. I thought I'd sit down and try something new and do a Mindful Monday outside. So uh, here we go. I was thinking about what I've been listening to lately uh, by Marissa Peer. She's uh, a British uh, hypnosis therapist and um, I thought it was something I really wanted to share because it um, has got me thinking and I am watching myself this last week being very extra mindful. Um, I love how she puts it, you know, a lot of times we feel like our mind is running us and um, you know, our mind is really supposed to be a tool that we use <laughs> to uh, well to get what we want to achieve what it is we set out to um, you know and unfortunately a lot of times it's our mind that runs us right and we just kind of seem to feel like we can't get a grip on it and um, I know I have a problem with like self looping negative self-talk just going over or you know the shoulda coulda woulda or why didn't I do this or I should have said that or you know all these different things I could have said or did so that's like one of my horrible things I do to myself and um, what really got me what she was saying was every the way you feel about everything comes down to just two things two things the pictures you make in your head and the words that you use to describe it. And I kind of just thought about that and she used this great analogy really quickly about this woman who was about to get on a plane and totally freaking out saying she can't do it, she can't, she can't. And she asked her like, what's going on? And she's like, you know, she, she described the plane as a coffin. And, um, you know, and oh, that's just, it's a coffin and it's terrifying. How could that thing go up in this, in the, air you know it's gonna come down the whole bit so she was just she worked with the woman and just like said well you know of course if you say those things if you describe it like that why don't you like haven't you been to Disneyland haven't you been on a ride and um, that was another point that she brought up when when you go to amusement park and you're listening to people um, screaming on 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 the uh, rides you're not really sure if they're totally excited about it or, you know, are they scared, you know, are they totally scared? <laughs> are they scared shitless? I, that's what I was going to say. I'm, so, I'm just going to say it. So, um, yeah, and I remember Mel Robbins talking about that, about that there is no, your mind cannot distinguish the difference between anxiety and fear and being excited and looking forward to something and that that kind of feeling when you want to do something and you're really anxious for it and you can feel that nervousness right so even with Mel she says to say to yourself you know that I'm excited and put and she does that too. put a, d a different picture in your head you know something that does get you excited that you look forward to and so Marissa Peer was saying the same thing. It's like, you know, you can just tell yourself, I'm excited. I'm excited about getting on the plane. I'm excited about going to a new country. I'm excited about, you know, you know, you know, having a vacation with my husband the whole bit. And so the whole thing was, you know, we do that with so many things. So I was watching myself with, um, you know, my nephew that we're raising, I get, you know, and sometimes we do say, oh my God, he's driving me crazy. And it's like, wait a second, I don't want to say that. Um, so it's like, wow, you know what? I am being challenged beyond what I could possibly imagine. And um, it's just like, wow, you know? And, and then, and then, yeah, and then putting a different picture in my head that, that this is just me being challenged and tested and you know it's what kids do i mean i talked to all the other parents on the block and in essence there's really no difference about what everybody is experiencing with their kids so it's like you know it's what they do so just kind of telling yourself that and um, you can use it for just about anything because now i'm even seeing with the stuff i have to do 
Um, and I'm like, oh, I'm not so good at that. And it's like, wait a second. You know what? I'm getting better at that. Um, you know, I'm going to, I'm, I'm in the process of learning it. I may not be the best at it yet, but, um, you know, again, just what am I telling myself and what is the picture that I'm making? So that is my little tidbit for this Mindful Monday. Please be a bit aware, watch what you say, and look at the pictures that you paint in your mind about any situation and know that you can, in fact, decide to make a different picture and to tell yourself something differently and even if you got to just turn it over and um you know you might say well is that lying and i love it because that lady who got on the plane she goes oh you want me to lie to myself and she goes oh yes i certainly do <laughs> she says, i want you to lie steal and cheat and i was like what it's just like lie to your mind and then that cheats fear from getting a hold of you lie no steal so you steal back you steal back so lie cheat and steal so you lie and then you you're cheating you're stealing back what fear gives you oh my god i'm totally screwing that up but <laughs> so uh, yes do in that case lie to your mind about the way you'd really like it to be why not okay all right you guys have a great mindful monday and rest of your week Go ahead and exercise that. Practice it. See what you find yourself telling yourself about and um, what, what area may be work or your family life or maybe even yourself when you look at yourself in the mirror and the things that you say. All right. And turn it around. Paint those pictures that you'd prefer to see and tell yourself things that are empowering. All right. Cheers.